Welcome to Toolbox DIY. Today I'm on the roof and I'm going to demonstrate my method for cleaning solar panels. Now if you're here you're probably one of the many people who have been told that rain is enough to clean your solar panels but you learn that that's not actually true. As you can see here I've got a lot of grime built up on my solar panels and a little bit of water just isn't going to cut it. So my method for cleaning solar panels requires a small investment, and it's a very small investment compared to what you paid for your solar array. First up, we have this water-fed pole brush. These are about 250 or 300 bucks. Uh, this one extends 24 feet, which I think adds uh, an element of safety, because if you have a sloped roof with a solar array, when you can extend this 24 feet, you can pretty much access the whole array without having to reposition yourself. I would also recommend a good squeegee, a window squeegee, and if you're going to be on the roof, I recommend one of these expandable hoses. Now these won't last as long as your traditional rubber garden hose, but they're so light it makes it a lot easier when you're going up and down off the roof. Okay, let's get started. We start with just water, no cleaner. We take the brush, we get off all the loose dirt. You don't have to put a whole lot of elbow grease into this. The idea is just to get the low-hanging fruit here. The next step is to take our glass cleaner. I'm using Glass Gleam Solar. This is not just any glass cleaner. It's designed to be used on solar panels. It's a concentrate, so it gets diluted with water. And I use this garden sprayer to apply it. After applying the cleaner, I agitate it with a dry brush. I don't cut the water on just yet. I want to try to get as much of this dirt broken up as possible before I rinse the cleaner off. Now we turn back on the water. We rinse this off. All right, the last step is optional. I prefer this though, is to take our squeegee and get all the excess water off. Now you may notice a little bit of buildup at the bevel of the solar panel here. If you want, you can take a hand brush and try to get that out. Uh, but if you, if you look at it, you may find that it's actually not covering up any of the photo photovoltaic cells. Well, as you can see, this method is highly effective and it's not a huge time investment. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, you don't need to get the pole brush. You can use a hand brush. Just know that if you're on a sloped roof, that's going to be a little bit more dangerous. One last tip I have, if you're up on the roof, you're likely going to get your shoes wet, including the bottom of your shoes. So please be careful with those ladder rungs on your way up and down the ladder. Well, that will do it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications. And don't forget to tell us about your project in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Chris with Toolbox DIY.